Hey, what's going on, guys? Poison Rain here. Oh. We're not doing a Wither Cage today. Um, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we are building a honey farm. Uh, next week I'll have an update on that honeycomb farm to make it almost 100% lossless. It gets down to like 99% um, gain with only a, like a 1% loss or something like that. It's way less than 1%, but it's now much more reliable. I'll get to it in a, for, for next week's video. This week's video is a honey farm, not a honeycomb farm. These bees have been very busy producing a whole bunch of honey. I will also be using this size in my block logic world. But what you will need of course these aren't the amounts but what you will need are comparators dust rails power drills hopper mine carts chests 3b beehives glass solid blocks redstone blocks, flowers, grass blocks, or dirt blocks, or anything that a flower can sit on, a hopper, that's, and then this hopper here has a bunch of glass bottles in it, and this dispenser here has a bunch of glass bottles in it. So, that's all you will need. And if you want to make it large like this, a way to reduce lag just the slightest bit is by using droppers or dispensers instead of, uh, or every other instead of hoppers. Because hoppers are, uh, hoppy, hoppers have ticking inventories, so they create small bits of lag each, especially server side. So, yeah, this thing is a lag machine. So, first you're going to want to start with your collection system. You can make it however you want, or well, not your collection, your storage. And once you're done with your storage, you're going to want to place a, or draw hoppers all the way to this one right here, which will be the start of your farm. Then you're gonna to wanna to place a solid block, a redstone block, and then a solid block go up two solid blocks and break the bottom one, place four powered rails, and of course, a hopper minecart. So next, you're gonna want to place a solid block there, solid block there, Sorry, I'm misreading dimensions. Put one there. And then place three grass or dirt or whatever block that you've chosen in there. And you want to place in your three flowers. Next, you're going to want to draw this back. 
one block. Place two, three blocks up, then go two blocks over. And next you're going to want to put in your dispensers. Then you'll break these placeholder blocks. Then along the back, you're going to place three blocks right there, there, three blocks here, and three solid blocks here. Then up along the side, three more solid blocks and three in the back. This is to help prevent item loss. Do that on both sides. And as far as I'm aware, this farm has not dropped a single item. It's going to do it for me on camera though, because that's how Minecraft do. Showcase effect. Then three solid blocks here. Three more solid blocks. Go up one and then three more. Three more solid blocks. Oh wait, no, you're going to want to place your comparators first. It'll be easier without those in the way. So comparator here, comparator here, and comparator here. Then place your three solid blocks here. And next you're going to want glass. After that, you're going to want to place in 15 redstone dust like this and then going to get the hoppers that are filled with glass bottles place them facing into the dispensers go up two blocks so I can then place hoppers facing into that block because if you want to chain it down the line it'll you'll have a another hopper down the line unless you're at the very end of it then you can just place a hopper facing directly into this one but yeah then next you're going to want to place in stained or any glass not really just stained glass and glass here And then block it all in. And then these last five are not required. I just put it in because it makes it it makes me feel like there's something wrong if I don't put them in. And these five down here are not needed either. It just looks nicer. Forgot to leave those open. Again, you can use the slab trick to where you place three slabs like this. Maybe a little standing platform here. And place in your beehives. Well, can't put in the last one. <laughs> But yeah, you'll place in all three beehives, and then when the bees clear up, and there's no more bees in the module, you will then uh, remove the slab and replace it with glass. Oh yeah, that bee is being stupid, so I just went ahead and did it, because in creative it's faster. I wish this was like Java, where you could just place this into your offhand, and then you could just hold with your, whatever your tool you're breaking, 
the slab with, or you would put the glass in your offhand. You could put whatever tool you're breaking the slab with in your main hand, and then put the glass in your offhand, and then you break, and then you place it. All within the same tick, or all within one game tick, so... What do you do? Thanks, but thanks, Mojang. We don't get cool things. We don't get useful things. We're not allowed to. That's just how Mojang do. Oh yeah. Uh, again, I'll have the rates in the description. I haven't done a rate test yet. Uh. How I did the rate test for the last one is I did it per module, so one hour was sufficient for a test, considering there are, how many modules again? 144 modules. I'm pretty sure that more than, it, it, that is more than enough. Now for the full farm rate, of course, I can't say that's the, the, what was in the description of the last video was the rate for this size of a farm. But I could say that the module, the per module was pretty accurate. Anyways, I do have a, a list of tutorials that I'm going to try and get out. Uh, the first one is going to be either that uh, rebuild over there, the redesign, or it's going to be a redesign to one of the tutorials that I have on the channel. It's the other broken machine that I have posted the infinitely expandable tunnel bore I have an idea on how to fix it it involves mobile piston bolts so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it hit the like button duh if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content, uh, redstone or farms or s sticky stone um, tutorials. Uh, every now and then I do my Let's Play world called Block Logic, which is why I made something this to this scale, so I have reference. Um, but that's my usual content. Most Wednesdays, I will do streaming. Uh, this Wednesday, I'm going to probably stream getting my first bees in my Block Logic world. Um, that way, I can start working on that honeycomb farm over there. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have a nice day.